Yeah, so I think that definitely goes against a lot of the rhetoric I'm seeing online. Obviously, this is very new. It just happened yesterday. But, um, you know, there's there's not a lot of people from what I can read and from what I'm seeing that are talking about this kind of emergency procedure that you're talking about, like where they've notified all these people before anything happened. So it kind of removes this whole conspiracy theory um, out of the conversation, because if that was the case, they wouldn't want to notify anyone. They'd want to you know, take the bridge down with as many people on it uh, to create exactly. the most amount of damage. Yeah, exactly. It, it just, it's people that don't understand the industry, um, just making assumptions and trying to get clicks from what I can tell. Uh, like I said, you know, the way it's being handled after the fact, I definitely think there's a lot of concern there. I don't think, you know, our tax dollars should be paying for the mistakes, regardless of where the mistake lies of another company. Um, so I think there's a lot of stuff to question there, but as far as the actual incident itself, as far as I can tell, it looks like purely mechanical error. There's, there's nothing they could have done.